Welcome to the brand new video. In this video, we will discuss about Saint Lucia, which you people generally don't know. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications, so you can keep up to date with all our latest content. Saint Lucia is an island nation in the Caribbean Sea, part of the Lesser Antilles chain. It lies to the north of Saint Vincent and the Grenadines and to the south of Martinique. The capital city is Castries. Located on the northwest coast of the island, Saint Lucia has a population of around 183,000 people as of the latest estimates. The official language is English, though Saint Lucian Creole is widely spoken by the local population. The official currency is the East Caribbean dollar. Saint Lucia gained independence from the United Kingdom on February 22, 1979. The island is volcanic in origin and features lush rainforests, waterfalls, mountains, and the Pitons, which are twin volcanic spires and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Pitons, specifically Gros Piton and Petit Piton, are iconic volcanic formations that rise dramatically from the Caribbean Sea. Saint Lucia has a tropical climate with a dry season from December to May and a wet season from June to November. Tourism is a major part of the economy, with attractions such as the Sulphur Springs, Diamond Falls, and Anse Chastanet Beach being popular. Saint Lucia is home to the Sulphur Springs, which are considered the world's only drive-in volcano. The flag of Saint Lucia consists of blue, symbolizing the Caribbean Sea, and yellow, representing the island's sunshine. The black and white triangle represents the Pitons. Saint Lucia has a rich cultural heritage, influenced by African, French, and British colonial history. Calypso, soca, and reggae are popular music genres in Saint Lucia, and the island hosts the Saint Lucia Carnival, one of the largest Caribbean celebrations. The Saint Lucia Carnival is held annually in July and is a major cultural event featuring colorful costumes, parades, and music. Besides tourism, St. Lucia's economy relies on agriculture, fishing, and manufacturing. Bananas have traditionally been St. Lucia's most important export crop, though competition from other countries has reduced its dominance. St. Lucia is a parliamentary democracy and a constitutional monarchy, with the British monarch as the head of state, represented by the governor-general. St. Lucia offers free primary and secondary education, and the island also has institutions of higher learning, including the University of the West Indies Open Campus. The jackwit, known for its vibrant green and blue feathers, is the national bird and a protected species. The national dish of St. Lucia is green figs and saltfish, which consists of salted cod served with boiled green bananas. Coconut cultivation is important to the economy, and St. Lucia exports a variety of coconut-based products like oil and copra. The majority of the population is Christian, with Roman Catholicism being the largest denomination, followed by Anglicanism and other Protestant faiths. The traditional dress for women in St. Lucia is often brightly colored and inspired by African and Creole influences, with men often wearing linen shirts and trousers. The St. Lucia Jazz Festival is a renowned event that attracts international musicians and artists, and it's a highlight in the island's cultural calendar. Other notable landmarks include the Pigeon Island National Landmark, which is a historical site with military ruins and hiking trails. Saint Lucian cuisine reflects a fusion of Caribbean, African, French, and British influences, with seafood, coconut, and local produce being central to many dishes. Saint Lucian folk art includes handmade crafts, especially pottery, woven items, and painted wooden sculptures, often depicting local culture. The national anthem is called, Sons and Daughters of St. Lucia, and it celebrates the island's independence and natural beauty. The Piton's management area, which includes both Gros Piton and Petit Piton, is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its geological significance and biodiversity. St. Lucia is renowned for its diving spots, including the Anse Chastanet Reef and the Valley of the Giants, offering vibrant coral reefs and marine life. The Diamond Botanical Gardens near Sofriere offer lush greenery and the famous Diamond Waterfall. With vibrant tropical plants and species, Sofriere is one of the oldest towns on the island and is located near the Pitons. It is famous for its sulfur springs and nearby attractions. Other notable festivals include the La Rose and La Marguerite, which are traditional flower festivals celebrated with parades and music. 
St. Lucia has several historic forts, such as Fort Rodney and Morn Fortune, which offer panoramic views and insights into the island's colonial past. The island is home to several stunning waterfalls, including the Torai Waterfall, which is easily accessible and a popular tourist destination. The island is a parliamentary democracy with a prime minister and a house of assembly, following the Westminster system of government. Both coconut and sugarcane were historically vital industries for St. Lucia, with sugar mills still remaining as historic landmarks. In addition to tourism, construction, manufacturing, and information technology are also important sectors in the island's economy. The St. Lucia black pine is the national tree and an important part of the island's ecosystem. Famous individuals from St. Lucia include poet Derek Walcott, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1992, and Kendall Francis, an acclaimed actor and director. Traditional St. Lucian folk music includes the Juvert rhythm, which is often played during festivals like Carnival. St. Lucia has strong trade relationships with Caribbean community members, the United States, Canada, and the European Union. St. Lucia faces challenges from invasive species like the iguana, which threatens local flora and fauna. St. Lucia has a relatively young population, with a median age of about 30 years, and education is compulsory until the age of 16. St. Lucia's education system includes public and private schools, with a focus on bilingual education. The island's natural resources include limestone, sand, clay, and wood, all of which support construction and local industry. St. Lucia is home to endemic species such as the St. Lucia warbler, which is only found on the island. Other heritage sites include Castries Market, which reflects the island's colonial history and the fusion of local cultures. St. Lucia is home to several rivers and freshwater lakes, such as the Roseau River and Grand Anse, which are vital to the island's ecosystem. Castries is a hub for the Caribbean shipping industry, with a major port facilitating trade and tourism. Popular sports in St. Lucia include cricket, soccer one, and netball, with international teams regularly visiting the island for games. The island has two main airports, Hewinora International Airport, located in the south, and George F. L. Charles Airport, located in the north. St. Lucia has a public health system that provides free health care to citizens, though private health care is available for those who can afford it. The national motto of St. Lucia is, the land. The people, the light, symbolizing the country's natural beauty, its people, and its guiding principles of progress. Conservation efforts are vital on the island, with numerous protected areas aimed at preserving its rich biodiversity, including the Maria Islands Nature Reserve. St. Lucia has a diverse population with roots in Africa, Europe, India, and China, contributing to the island's vibrant culture. The island's location in the Caribbean Sea makes it a prime spot for water sports, including snorkeling, diving, sailing, and kayaking. St. Lucia is focusing on sustainable tourism and eco-friendly development practices to preserve its natural resources for future generations. The Pitons and the surrounding area have been recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site due to their natural beauty and geological significance. St. Lucia maintains diplomatic relations with many countries and is a member of regional organizations like CARICOM, OAS, and UNESCO. The Cape Mole Egg Chick Lighthouse on the southern coast of St. Lucia is a prominent landmark that guides ships through the Caribbean Sea. St. Lucia is working toward increasing its use of renewable energy, particularly solar and wind power, to reduce its dependency on fossil fuels. Every May, the island celebrates Heritage Month, highlighting its rich cultural history, music, and food. Eleanor Lewis was the first female Prime Minister of St. Lucia, serving from 1997 to 2006. During the colonial period, St. Lucia was known for being a haven for pirates, with the island's numerous coves and harbors serving as strategic hideouts. Grouper, snapper, and mahi-mahi are among the most popular fish caught around the island and are essential to the local cuisine. St. Lucia produces olive oil from native olive trees and promotes it as a sustainable agricultural product. St. Lucia's music scene includes calypso, soca, and reggae, contributing to the broader Caribbean soundscape. Known for its warm hospitality, the island attracts visitors with its charming people, scenic landscapes, and luxury resorts. If you like the video, we'll share it with your friends and family members on WhatsApp and Facebook wall.
I encourage you to like this video too or did you know that you will meet your friends through the video till then.